in Unit 5, Chapter 2, we are going to begin exploring the different software that is on the Controls Lab system. The two HMI softwares that are included on the system are Studio 5000 Logics Designer and Factory Tuck View Machine Edition. We're going to begin with an introduction to Studio 5000 Logics Designer. So first we are going to open up the Controls Lab project. Studio 5000 Launcher is this little blue orb at the bottom of the screen. We can open that up and in this case we'll open up Controls Lab which is the already programmed environment for the Controls Lab system. Once this opens we'll have basic navigation throughout the entire Studio 5000 Logix Designer. The main controls are located on the left side of the screen here which includes controller tags, add-on instructions, the main programming, um, and as well as the communications on the network. We can also see the network up here and I'm navigating through who active and that will show us the different network communications that are going on within the system. So here we see that the PAC is on this Ethernet address and then we also have the PowerFlex 525 variable frequency drive on this address. We also have the ability to go online with the controller and watch the data from the programming environment. So we have a few basic controls while we are editing the system while it's online. So we will use that in some situations. And of course we have the standard file menu with many different options including some of the ones we've already looked at. Next we're going to begin by setting up a new project within Studio 5000 Logix Designer.